Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so glad that you're here today. I'm gonna to talk a little bit about the ways that me and my family are simplifying, slowing down, and savoring the holiday season this year. It's a topic that I really have always really loved to think about and talk about, but it came to mind recently because I put up an Instagram post um, after we had our family birthday party for my kids because they were both born last month And so I did just like a little family combined birthday party and I got such an overwhelming response to that just one Simple Instagram post. I'll put it up here on the screen so that you can see but this is all that I wrote and I was just Flooded my inbox was just flooded with messages of people asking if I could please elaborate and talk more about this So here I am. So this is what I wrote on this slide I said, I decided to do low-key birthdays this year for the kids. Ultimately, they want to be around their family and feel loved more than anything. And Nora got her dream gift of a dollhouse. Throw in a touch of sugar and we're golden. Took the pressure off and I really enjoyed celebrating both kids all October long and even now in November in a more simplistic and relaxed way. Figuring out how to bring the simplicity into the holiday season too because low pressure seems to make everyone happier and more peaceful. Like I said, immediately I was receiving dozens of messages of people saying, please share your tips, please share your tips because we want to slow down too. Before I jump into all of the great ways that we are going to be simplifying and savoring and slowing down this holiday season, I want to share a little bit about today's sponsor, which is Aura Frames. This is a perfect sponsor for this particular video because it is just the epitome of really enjoying and reminiscing. I am totally obsessed with our Aura, and as soon as we unboxed it, I immediately said, oh my gosh, I need to get one of these for my parents, and Riley said, we have got to get one for my mom. It is such a great gift, and so let me tell you a little bit more about it. So Aura is a Wi-Fi connected digital picture frame that you're able to add unlimited photos and videos to from anywhere in the world. There is a great app that is super, super easy. I have over 60,000, it's like embarrassing to even say, 60,000 photos and videos on my iPhone that I love and I often say to Riley, I wish I had the time to get these printed to put them around our house. So I have like 60,000 plus on my phone and we maybe have 20 photos around the house and especially with my kids growing so quickly it's the kind of thing that I'm always thinking I wish I could be updating the photos around the house more often I wish I was more on top of that this is the perfect solution to this problem of having all of this beautiful digital content that you want to look at and enjoy and then not having an easy way to do it I don't really like having dozens of prints around the house because I'm probably not gonna frame them and it just doesn't work out. So having it be all digital is like, Perfect, exactly what I'm looking for. Something that's super neat about Aura is that it has a beautiful mat and it has like an anti-glare over the screen where you look at the photos and the videos. It also will automatically adjust to the light level in the room so when you turn off your lights at night, the frame will also turn off just to save energy and then in the morning when the lights come back on, it will turn back on. It features smart photo cropping so that if you have vertical photos, you know, portrait sized photos, it will automatically match two of them together instead of having it be like with random, you know, just like a black background and then a photo in the middle. Instead it will smart match them together, which I love because it just looks so much classier. The actual look of the frame is beautiful, even down to the cord. The cord is this really cool, like, cotton, like, knit cord. It's really neat. It looks beautiful. The frame itself is gorgeous, and there are several different options and styles, which I'll show you here. I love the one that I got. I got the Carver frame, and it has a really beautiful black outside, and then, like, the frame is black, and then there's a white mat in it. And it just, it genuinely looks like an actual picture frame, especially because of the anti-glare technology in the screen. It's just beautiful to look at. Something that is so cool about this frame is that you can actually get it completely set up if you're giving it as a gift before you actually give it as a gift. So there's a space on the box when you receive it that you just peel a little corner back and you get a QR code that you can scan with the Aura app to be able to 
to connect, you know, your phone and the pictures and videos that you'd like to add to that particular frame. So then when grandma or your mom or your aunt or your sister opens up their frame, it already is preloaded with all kinds of fun pictures and videos. So it's just really cool. I love that you can add things on the app so seamlessly. I go through my photos and videos at the end of every single day as just like a part of my nightly ritual. And so I've just been going through and adding photos from that day and sending them to my frame. It's all wireless. You don't have to be, you know, right next to the frame or anything like that. And I added Riley as a collaborator onto our frame. And so he can add photos too. Nora loves to look at the frame and see, you know, all the pictures of her when she was a baby and growing up and pictures of Colin when he was itty bitty and our family photos from the beach and her cousins and Y'all, we just love this frame. It is such a great idea. It's such a great solution to the problem of too many digital photos, nothing actually in real life to look at. And it's such a great gift. Like any grandparent would love this. Any family member would love this. Friends who have kids would love this. A newly married couple to be able to display pictures of their wedding and honeymoon would, to it's just like the greatest gift I can think of. And it's not a cluttery gift. It's a gift that is just beautiful. You just set it out like a picture frame and you can fill it with unlimited photos and videos. What could be better? Probably my favorite thing about the Aura frame other than its functionality and just how beautiful it looks with all of my family photos sliding through is that there are tons and tons of different settings so you can choose if you want it to change photos every 15 seconds all the way up to every 24 hours, which is really cool. And beyond that, it is so easy to set up. I timed myself setting it up and it took 10 minutes from opening up the package and plugging it in to connecting it to my app and my phone and then to be able to start seeing photos actually going across the picture frame 10 minutes. I mean, you can't beat it. Anyway, from now until November 19th, y'all have early access to an amazing sale where you can get $50 off of an Aura frame. You'll just want to use the code Blair, B-L-A-I-R at checkout and you'll get that $50 credit off, which is fantastic. So I will leave that information below in the more info bar if you would like to access that and the link and all of the things that you need. This is such a great time to get ahead of holiday shopping so that you're not waiting until the absolute last minute. And this is the kind of gift that is so easy, honestly, because when you receive it, it will take you 10 minutes to set it up. And then when you give it to someone, they will just feel so loved and they'll have their beautiful photos of your family or their family or whatever. If you have someone who loves their dog, you could load up it with pictures of their pet, you know, their dog. So it's a great, great gift. Again, now through November 19th, you can get $50 off with the code Blair, so don't miss it. Okay, now let's jump into simplifying, slowing down, and savoring the holiday season this year. My very first tip, which seems simple but can be actually a little challenging in practice, is just simply saying no thank you. You do not have to say yes to every holiday party invite, every ornament exchange, every cookie exchange, every Christmas movie watching marathon, every shopping day, every everything. There's so many things at this time of year. And it's truly okay to just sit at home with your family, with your puppy, with your cat, with whatever, and just enjoy the season and the quiet and the beauty of, you know, twinkling lights and a warm cup of coffee. Like, you can just say no thank you. You don't have to accept every single invitation that comes your way. And doing that really does create some more white space in your schedule and really helps you to be able to enjoy the events and the things that you do go to especially with children, there's this pressure to do every single activity that's ever possible <laughs> in November and December. And you know, you just don't have to. You just do not have to. They, those activities will be available next year and the year after that and the year after that. So pick your favorites and then leave the rest and do them another time. Saying no thank you, saying no thank you. It really, it can, it can free up your time in a way that saying yes will never free up your time. Another tip I have, and this might be my very favorite one on the list today, is creating special 
rituals and rhythms as ways to really savor the season. So in our family, when I wake up in the morning, the first thing I do is I light a candle, I turn on our Christmas tree, and then I turn on some kind of classical instrumental music. During the autumn months, I love to put on a playlist that's called Autumn Jazz. Um, there's another one that I love that's called Autumn in Central Park that's just like so charming. There are beautiful, beautiful Christmas piano playlists, holiday classics, instrumentals. Some people like having all the words. I personally prefer when it's early morning especially to just enjoy the, the instrumental versions of music. But every morning I light my candle, I turn on the Christmas tree, and I go ahead and get some music playing in the background. And I put it really low, like at a two or a three um, out of 10 for volume. And it's just, oftentimes I won't even turn it off until it's evening and I'm heading to bed. It's just like a light, soundtrack in the background of our lives and it's there's something just very beautiful and cozy about that and it helps me to slow down when I'm making the kids breakfast or lunch or I'm making my morning cup of coffee just that music and the glow of a candle in the tree I love it other examples of rituals are you could sit on the couch and read your children's stories before bed in the, you know, the glow of the Christmas tree, or you could do hot cocoa every Sunday evening, or you could make cookies for your neighbors once a week, or like there's so many different things that you could do just to add a little bit something different and special at this time of year. Um, I love it. I've been doing, like I said, the morning music and everything, and everyone in my family totally loves it. Riley is always, if ever I forget, he's like, "Where? why is the music not playing? Because it adds this calm to our home that otherwise doesn't really exist in the morning because we're all just jumping into our days. So definitely creating some rituals around the holiday season can help you to savor it just a little bit more. The next thing that I'm gonna to share today is having a less, less, less mindset rather than the very much more popular, especially at this time of year, more, more, more mindset. So it's just less. If you are going to a holiday party, could you borrow a dress from a friend? Could you shop your own closet? Just less. Could you use a pair of shoes that you bought last year? Less. For our children for Christmas this year, Colin is getting exactly one gift and Nora is getting four gifts. We're doing the something you want, something you need, something to wear, something to read model. So she'll be getting one gift in each of those four areas and then a couple of different things in her stocking that are consumables like a bottle of bubble bath and some of her favorite little candies and treats. And that's it. That's it, that's all we're doing. Um, I think it is so easy to get swept up in the more, more, more mentality, in going to Hobby Lobby and Michaels and Target and buying all new Christmas decor and a certain theme and all kinds of things. And do you have to do that? You don't have to do that. None of these things inherently are bad, but it's the thing where your whole season is just completely taken over by just more, 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 more. And I just think there's a beauty in the simplicity of less. In creating, by buying Nora four gifts and Colin one gift, I just am able to enjoy the season with my kids instead of frantically trying to make sure that they have 1,000 gifts to open under the Christmas tree and just it just gets to be too much. If you have a large family, could you consider talking to your family instead of exchanging gifts with each individual? Could you instead pull names and do where each person is responsible for buying a gift for just one other person? We have done that in my family and we did that in my family growing up when I we would do a cousin's gift exchange, but with as many cousins as I have, it was too much for all of us to buy gifts for everyone else. So we would just buy gifts for one other person in the family and so everyone gets something to open but it's not just more and more and more and more. This is something that I am especially thinking about lately as I have been decluttering our home, selling lots and lots of things that we don't use or don't need anymore on Facebook Marketplace, donating those other things and just really like simplifying the contents of our home. I really am thinking about this more. And so with Thanksgiving coming up here very shortly, normally I would go out and buy a button down for Riley that coordinates with a brand new dress that I would buy for myself and then outfits for both children as well. And I don't know how much that would cost, at least 100 to $200 most likely. And this year I thought, 
I am sure we can find something in our existing closets that would be perfect for Thanksgiving dinner. And so I went in there and lo and behold, <laughs> we all have something that we can wear for Thanksgiving dinner that doesn't require buying more. So if you can just start to sort of marinate on this concept of less, 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 instead of more, 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 you'll start to see, I think, at least I have, very obvious areas of life where you just don't have to buy more or get more or do more. Instead doing less, I really think that slower rhythm and pace of life is very life-giving during this time of year in particular. The next tip that I have is practicing mindfulness. Now this isn't like woo-woo or anything like that. Mindfulness is just being aware of what is going on, what the task at hand is, what are your senses experiencing in the moment. I especially like to practice this when I am cooking or cleaning, so I love the way that butter sounds when I put a piece of butter into a hot skillet and that crackling butter sound. I absolutely love that sound and I always listen for it. I love the way that my house smells after I brew coffee in the morning. I love when my kids wake up and I hear the pitter patter of their sweet little feet down the hall as they're running out to greet me in the kitchen. I love the way after the whole world seems to have gone to sleep that the Christmas lights just twinkle and that quiet peace and stillness. I think making a concerted effort to really notice this season, I think it will be amazing to you how rich life feels and how beautiful just the mundane will feel if you take the time to really notice. You know, when you have a cup of iced coffee in the morning and you pour cream into it, how beautiful is it the way that the cream swirls throughout the coffee? And it's like noticing those sorts of things and looking forward to those little throwaway moments that are really just so priceless. I love it. I love it. I love the way my kids smell after they take a bath and they just smell so clean and putting them in a fresh pair of PJs and curling up to read a bedtime story. Like, <sighs> That's the good stuff. This is the good stuff of life and we're often in such a frenzy and we're going so fast, 90 miles an hour through our days to make sure that there's a billion presents purchased and wrapped and under the tree and our house looks perfect and we have every different type of wardrobe option that we need for the season and we have meals and parties to attend and it's like what if we just kind of sloughed some of that off and really just focused on the littler, more magical, mundane moments. There's something to be said for those moments. So practicing some mindfulness and really enjoying the here and now, it's pretty life-changing. My second to last tip for slowing down this holiday season is really knowing your why behind why you are doing certain things, traditions, activities, events, whatever it may be. So are you driving, maybe you may want to ask yourself, are you driving to the prettiest mall in your area to go get photos of your children with Santa because your children really want to do that and you really want that memory? Or is it because you want to post it on Instagram? you know, or on Facebook. Knowing your why behind, your motivation behind doing things is extremely helpful and clarifying and it really helps to just quickly help you focus in and remove stuff that just doesn't matter as much. The way that you're decorating your home, are you doing that because that's the way that you really enjoy to live in your home or are you doing that because you want to impress the guests that you'll have over the holiday season? Neither one is necessarily wrong, but if impressing guests over the holiday season just requires so much more energy, time, money, buying more, 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 and enjoying it the way that you enjoy it is just a lot more simplified, that may be something to think about. If you're hosting this holiday season, are you hosting in a way that is life-giving and memory-making and just wonderful for you and others? Or is it in a way that's just so draining? And if it is, why? Why does it need to be done to that level? Why does it have to be so exhausting? What can you change to make it more life-giving and less draining of your resources, <laughs> including time and energy? My final 
little ponderance of the day is to really focus on making memories over all else. In our family, that is what we have determined is our why behind everything we're doing during the holiday season, between the parties that we are hosting and attending, between the flights that we are taking to go and see family members that live across the country, when we're putting up the tree, when we're baking cookies, when we're preparing for Thanksgiving and Christmas and all of those things. The why for us is just that we want want these memories. We want to share these memories with our kids, make these memories with our kids. And when that is the focus, which was the same focus that we had with the birthdays for the kids, children are actually so simple. They just want attention. They want love. They want your undivided attention really is what they really want. And so that doesn't necessarily require more and more and more of us. Sometimes it requires putting the phone away, turning the TV off, turning all of those distractions down and just having a moment up to make a memory. So I would just encourage you, the culture at this time of year, it is a more, more, more fast, every evening booked, every weekend booked, chaotic, financially draining, emotionally draining, physically draining culture. But I encourage you to consider where in all of that you could find pockets of peace. Where could you say no? Where could you do things in a different way? Um, I, I think there's a lot of value in that, which is why I wanted to create this video because I got that response after just sharing that we did. And we did. Our kid's birthday party was so low key. We ate a family dinner and then my daughter Nora, who just turned three, and her cousin Henry, who is also three, they made the cupcakes. So they were these beautifully imperfect cupcakes and we put a candle in each one and saying happy birthday to our kids and that was it there were no games I did a couple little streamers but there were like no special games there was no pinata there was nothing extravagant and it was perfect and the kids loved it and my daughter Nora talks about her birthday party every single day she tells me mommy I had a birthday party and she tells me everything we did which was eat dinner and eat cupcakes and she thought it was the best thing ever and that's that's what it's all about. So to wrap this video up, I just encourage you to figure out your why this holiday season behind the different things that you're planning on doing, the money that you're going to spend and the time that you're going to spend. And then slow things down if you can. Enjoy it. It doesn't have to be a frenzy. I will go ahead and leave a link to Aura Frames down below if you're interested in accessing their early Black Friday sale. You can get $50 off with the code Blair. Thank you guys for being here. I hope you enjoy your holiday season and I hope you're able to savor it.